Hey guys, thank you for watching my KISS photo series. My goal is to make photography a lot less complicated and just make it easier. Today we're going to be focusing on how to give our images some extra depth in Adobe Photoshop using a technique called dodge and burn, so stay tuned. Now the dodge and burn technique is relatively simple. All you're using is adjustment layers in order to give your images some extra depth. You're effectively using the curves adjustment layer in order to give your images some extra dimension. Now let's just jump straight into Photoshop and see that in action. Welcome to Adobe Photoshop. If you've never used adjustment tools, today's your lucky day. We're going to go ahead and go down to our adjustments panel and it also looks like a half moon cookie, but it says create new fill or adjustment layer. So you know that you're at the right section, just single click there. Go up to the curves option. We're going to do that twice. You're going to create two new curves layers right above your background. We're going to go ahead and double click the curves one and label it darken. We're going to label curves to lighten. And I do that for organization. So save yourself any mental strain on figuring out what needs to be done. Next thing we're going to do is select our darken layer on the curves side here. Now, if you've never used a histogram, it's extremely simple. Our left hand side is how many shadow pixels or darker pixels we have, our midtones, and our highlights. It's extremely simple. Now, what we're going to do for our darken layer is just select our midtones, drag down to underexpose. And once we're happy with where we're going to be underexposed, I generally like images to have darker shadows that have not faded to black. That's kind of how I, I judge where is an appropriate marker. So generally, I generally bring it down to about the second bracket here if you're a visual person halfway down. So simple that way. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and if you're using a Mac, press Command I in order to invert that layer. I'm not going to discuss layers. I'll leave that for a separate tutorial. So if you're not familiar with layer masks, this is not the video for you. Let's go ahead and go up to our lighten section. Go ahead and do the exact opposite. We want to go ahead and select our midtones and just drag up on our midtones so it's overexposed. Press, make sure that you're specific layer selected. Press Command I to invert that layer. Try that again. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're using darken to darken edges that we want to go ahead and darken and lighten to lighten. Super simple. There's it can't be easier than that. So for this specific image, what I want to do is I want to darken up the background. I want to direct attention to his face. And I also want to darken up his brow here to give him a tiny bit of more dimension. And I also want to lighten up his eyes. They're very, very dark and underexposed. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first things first, I'm going to work on the easiest part, which is the background. I'm going to go ahead and make, make sure that my brush is selected white. If you're not familiar with which brush I'm using, and we're going to go ahead and select that first brush that Adobe Photoshop has loaded for us. And if you're not familiar with how to use brushes, you can use your bracket tool to resize. Super simple. Okay, go up to our opacity, make sure it's at a lower opacity here, and select white so that that way you're darkening the areas that we want to darken. So I have my darken selected, and we're literally just going to paint the background out. Just darken up the background and draw attention to his face. I'm going to go ahead and darken out his shirt as well. We're going to increase our opacity and make it this little job a lot easier. So of 18, we'll go a tiny bit darker. So I want to darken up his shirt. I'm going to darken up the background in this area. I want to darken up on this side. Okay. Now I have more attention to our subject's face here. Next thing is I want to darken up his brow just slightly. Okay, and actually it's a little too much. So we're going to go ahead and press X. We're going to change our opacity to 30. We're pressing X in order to invert our brush back to black to just lighten up that specific area. We're going to go up to our lighten layer. Make sure we have a black brush selected and go to our subject's eyes and we're just going to go ahead and start lightening up his eyes with that lighten layer. So let's look at what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and look at before and after by if you're using a Mac holding the option and just selecting the eye here. And just those small changes we can see that we're directing attention to our subject's face. Let's go ahead and look at the whole image here. So the subtle changes that we made 
All we did was enhance his brow, we darkened his brow to give some extra dimension to his brow. We darkened the background to start drawing attention towards the center of this gentleman's face. We darkened the shirt to draw more attention towards the gentleman's face. And we also lightened up his eyes. And in just those small steps, we've directed attention towards the center of his face and given some more dimension to that specific photo. And that, folks, is how you contour images. Super sweet, simple, and to the point. That was a great crash course introduction on how to use the dodge and burn technique. There's a variety of other ways you can use it. For all intents and purposes of keeping this simple, I kept to the core basic. We'll use it for retouching purposes in a separate video, aside from today. Now, next week, I'm gonna be using a lot of the techniques we already learned in episodes one through five in order to retouch an image from start to finish and use some we haven't learned yet. So stay tuned for that. I publish these videos every single Friday about 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so stay tuned for those. If you're watching this on Facebook, please share it with your friends. If you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, anything, comment below. I answered everything. So there haven't been too many complaints, by the way, but nonetheless, I digress. So thank you for watching and you have a great weekend.